Hi. This is Zach Log the Great. I've seen lately from the left feminists, black activists, LGBT STFU activists, a great deal of what I can only describe as hatred for white people and for white men in particular. Now, if I felt about any group of people the way leftists appear to feel about white men, I would want nothing to do with that scum. I would not so much as touch anything that came from these people, lest I be contaminated. So, for the convenience of leftists, I thought I would compile a short list of things created or discovered by white men that they might want to cut out of their lives in order to be free of the pernicious influence of those disgusting, incorrigible white men. White men have invented a lot of uh, communications and entertainment technology. For instance, you are quite likely watching this on some form of computing device right now. The first computer was designed by Charles Babbage, an Englishman. This information reaching your is reaching your computing device by way of telephone lines. The invention of the telephone is widely credited to Alexander Graham Bell, a Scotsman. There appears to be some evidence that he may have stolen the work from Antonio Meucci, though. But since Meucci is an Italian, that's still a white man. Today, though, much of this is uh, transmitted via artificial satellites orbiting our planet. Communication satellites were first envisioned by Arthur C. Clarke, an Englishman. Of course, as you're hearing my voice at a distance right now, you might find it interesting that sound was first recorded by Thomas Edison, a white American. And if you're not just listening, but watching as well, you can thank Philo Farnsworth, a white American, for inventing the television. Of course, I know much of this information I'm telling you because I read it in books. You can thank Johann Gutenberg, a German, for inventing the printing press. Yes, the Chinese invented it first, but never made practical use of it. Gutenberg independently invented it later and changed the world. But, you know... All these things are entertainment or, or communications, not, not that big a deal. We could get by without them. Really, it's, it's not like white men have created anything we need. Well, there are a few more things to talk about. If you've ever treated an infection with an antibiotic, well, those were discovered by Alexander Fleming, a Scotsman. If you've ever needed surgery of any kind, you probably didn't get a dangerous infection because Joseph Lister, an Englishman, taught the world about sterile surgery. The probability of your survival was also increased by the use of anesthetics, discovered by James Simpson, a Scotsman. If you needed a blood transfusion after that surgery, you could reliably get a safe transfusion because Karl Landsteiner, an Austrian, discovered the different blood types. If your heart ever gives out entirely and you need an artificial heart, well, those were invented by Dr. Michael DeBakey, a white American. So, if you are ever sick in any way, shape, or form, it's probably due to the work of white men that you got through it so well. But maybe, perhaps, if you're extraordinarily lucky, you might get through life without needing any of that. So perhaps you don't need white men after all. But uh, I've got bad news. 
Are you using electricity right now? Of course you are. Numerous white men experimented with electricity in various forms for centuries, but it was made practical by such men as Thomas Edison, a white American, and Lucien Gallard, a Frenchman. Speaking of Thomas Edison, if you enjoy lighting your home without risking setting it ablaze, well, that white American also invented the light bulb. Also, if you enjoy not constantly being drenched in sweat from May through August, you might owe some thanks to Willis Carrier, the white American who invented air conditioning. If you like having neither to go outside to the latrines nor endure the stench of a chamber pot, you might thank John Harrington, an Englishman who designed an early indoor flush toilet. If you frequently travel further than your feet were going to carry you, you've probably made use of the work of John Stevens, a white American, Francois Isaac Derivas, a Frenchman, and Carl Benz, a German who developed the internal combustion engine and eventually the automobile. If you have to travel truly large distances, well, those airplanes that get you there, those were invented by Wilbur and Orville Wright, white Americans. And now we're coming to the big ones. It's quite likely that almost all of the food you eat was grown with fertilizer created from atmospheric nitrogen, a process invented by Fritz Haber, a German. If you happen to like the idea that citizens have clearly defined rights against the government, that was first clearly articulated by a group of Englishmen in the Magna Carta. And if you like the whole idea of democracy and having a say in your government, democracy was invented by the ancient Greeks and revived in more recent times by a group of white Americans, including Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, George Washington. So, if you're a leftist who hates the patriarchy and loves to rail against white men and how evil they are, those are just a few of the things you might want to avoid. To be consistent. This list is by no means exhaustive. I just threw it together based on what I already knew, plus a little extra research. If I had the time, I could tell you about all the things white men invented that make your life better and easier for hours. <laughs> Hell, I could go for days. Now, if you find that you cannot or will not go without any or all of these things, well, then I'd suggest that maybe you might change your attitude towards white men. Maybe you might treat white men a little better. Maybe instead of resentment and spite, you might consider regarding white men with something more like gratitude. You know, that might just work out pretty nicely. <laughs>